What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we got ourselves another juice review, courtesy of Redux Vapors. So stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we have another juice review coming at you guys, courtesy of Redux Vapors here in Calgary, local shop. Go check them out. They have a website online as well, reduxvapors.com. I'll have a link in the description if you want to go check them out for yourself. But basically, the first thing I want to point out is one thing in particular. There's no depot crew gear. I know it's crazy, right? And, and here's the thing. Are they okay? Are they alive? I don't know. Okay, I do know. But they've been hidden away from civilization for the next couple days until we get the chance to record another review for ourselves together. That's going to be the next review coming out with the depot crew. It's going to be a surprise. I don't want to say anything too much. But if you're on Project Fog, you may know what I'm talking about, and I'll leave it at that. Moving on to the actual juice review, again, just want to say a big thank you to Jason at Redux Vapors for giving me these juices to test and to review for you guys. Anyways, we're going to kick things off with one called Participation Ribbon. Participation Ribbon is from their line Subpar E-Liquids, and honestly, the pricing on it is just so right. 50 mils, 22 bucks a bottle, Canadian. I mean, that's like pennies in the U.S., right? I don't know if I'm very good at math or doing the conversion rate, but I'm pretty sure it's like pennies. So anyways, what we're going to do is something a little bit different. I'm not going to be vaping each and every one of these flavors because I already have. And here's the thing, guys. With juice reviews, taste is so subjective anyways that what I get or what someone else might get is going to be completely different than what you might get. So in turn, what we're going to do, I'm just going to go through the list, what they are, and I'm also going to tell you if I liked it or not at the end. So we're going to see if it's the end. And if I don't like something, by the way, it doesn't mean it's a bad juice. It just means it wasn't for me. And there's a lot of juices out there that are not for me. For example, anything with melons in it. But I digress. Anyways, Participation Ribbon is a peach raspberry mixture with a stronger peach coming out of that forefront with the raspberry nice and subtle in the background. Blends together very nicely. Really good juice. In that line, which I didn't try, so I can't speak to how I like them or not, but in that same line, we have E for Effort, which is light absinthe and orange. Meh which is cucumber, strawberry, watermelon, and spew, which is white gummy bear. Sounds pretty good, but participation ribbon is definitely one of my favorites out of this line. I actually really enjoy it. It's what I'm dripping on right now. Really good juice, but let's move on. Next up is Charged. Charged is a lemon like no other. It's basically Sprite, guys. I don't know how they did it, but they managed to bottle Sprite and put it in e-juice form. This stuff is fantastic. If you like Sprite, you are going to love this. It's honestly the best cola or soda or pop type flavor I've ever tried. And I don't like a lot of sodas. This one I actually enjoy. So big shout out to you guys that, uh, who made Charged. Thank you very much. And uh, one more thing to notice that they're all three milligram nicotine and they're all very smooth. They're, there's no issue with nicotine there. They're not using any sort of like, or they're not storing their nicotine pro improperly, which I find shows in flavor. It's not peppery. It's not... Um, it's not too much of a throat hit. It's very smooth. So for me, big plus in my books. Anyways, moving on to the last line, which I have all three bottles in, and we'll go through them. First up is Foreplay, and the sorry, the line is called Last Night. The first one up is called Foreplay. This one is a strawberry kiwi, and again, I'm not big on fruits. I love the participation ribbon, but this one, it wasn't for me. It's a strawberry kiwi, honestly. There's a ton of them out there. I find a lot of them just aren't for me. I've never really had one I like, but it, it's a good mix if you're into fruity stuff. If you like the fruity vapes, this is a great one to go to. I just don't like that. I like more dessert type, flavor, type vapes. Just me though. Next one up is Lube. That's right, you heard me right. It's Lube. This is a cool vanilla yogurt. Again, it's a yogurt. Here's the thing. Not a big fan of yogurt vapes, but I know a lot of you guys watching this are. A lot of you guys like yogurt vapes. You guys may want to give this a try. Personally, was it for me? No, but if you like yogurt vapes, you're going to like this. I actually don't like yogurt even to eat, so for me, I just I stay away from yogurt in general. But overall, it's not a bad juice. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste sour. Um, it tastes bang on like yogurt. Just, again, not for me. Finally, we have Rub and Tug, which is a... I can't even say it without laughing. Uh, mango green tea. Again, this one is one that I didn't think I'd like, and yet I tried it. I gave it a chance, and it's actually surprisingly really good. That mango goes with that green tea really nicely, and I'm not a big fan of tea vapes, 
but the mango adds that little bit of crispness to it, if that makes sense. It just has that little bit added to it that just makes it a very well-rounded vape. Uh, overall, again, so the last night retail for $30 for a, or sorry, retail for $18 for a 30 ml bottle. And going back to charge, it retails for, I think it's $32, $32 Canadian for a 60 ml bottle. So again, that's, I mean, the prices are definitely in there. If you're from outside Canada, I don't know if you think that's high or not. I don't know what the prices are in the States, but I know in Canada, these are pretty much on par, if not a little bit cheaper than your average brand. So they're definitely well priced. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So my top picks, Charge and Participation Ribbon, are by far my two favorite. The green tea was surprisingly really good. And then the yogurt and the uh, strawberry kiwi, I just, it wasn't for me, but it may be for you. So like I said before, if you want to try these for yourself, you can always head down to, to Redux Vapors here in Calgary. Or if you'd like, you can obviously head over to their website, reduxvapors.com and check them out online, maybe take a chance on one or two flavors and see what you think. Anyways guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Um, that's gonna do it for today's juice review. Again, go check out Redux Vapors, check out their Facebook page. They'll have a lot of feedback on there as well, I'm sure, and their website as well. A plus guys. Thank you, Jason, and thank you guys for watching. Until next time, happy vaping.